all of you to the Max Coil. In my previous session, I was discuss about the, the product of the powers with the same basis. Today, I will plan to discuss the division of powers with the same basis. Okay, my dear students, look at it. What is the division of powers with the same base? Here, x to the power 5 divided by the x to the power 2. When I expand it in like this, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x in here. It's divided by the x to the power 2, 2 x in here. And the top and the bottom x can be cancelled. Then, x is cancelled also like that, 1, 2. The 2 x are the cancelled. The remaining one, 3x in here. The answer is x to the power 3. It can be simplified this one, this one in simplify like that. Can be simplified subtracting the indices in like this. x to the power 5 divided by the x to the power 2 subtracting the indices if the given powers are the same basis. 2 subtraction from the 5. The answer is x to the power 3. Is the easy method by solving the same division of powers with the same basis. Look at another example. 2 to the power 6 divided by the 2 to the power 4. If the same basis, base is the 2, the given multiple mathematical operation is division. Then, subtracting the indices. Subtracting 4 from the 6. Then answer is 2 to the power 2. Another example, the given powers are the same basis. The given mathematical operation is the division. Then, when we give the same powers, when we give the same basis powers as the division, subtracting the indices. Subtracting 3 from the 10. Then answer is 5 to the power 7. To observe in these questions, we can build up the second law of the indices. The second law of the indices. When I explained it like that, a to the power m divided by the a to the power n can be built up the rule in like this. The given are the two same bases. Then the division is in here subtracting the given indices m, n subtracting n from the m. This is the second law of the indices lesson. Now, I am ready to explain another more example. The division of the same basis, the division of the powers with the same base. Okay, look at it. The first one, a to the power 10 divided by the a to the power 2. Then, the given powers are the same basis. a is the base. Then, a subtraction 2 from the 10. Answer is a to the power 8. Go through the second one. Second one is given product and the division also. Same question. First do the product step. The top of the question. x to the power 5 at 2, 2 divided by x to the power 3. First addition the indices. The answer is top of x to the power 7. Go through the bottom x to the power 3. Then, x to the power 7 divided by the x to the power 3. The same power division. Then, x 3 subtraction from the 7. Answer is x to the power 4. Go through my third question. Is given the number and the algebraic term also. Write it as like this. 4 x to the power 5 divided by 2 x to the power 2. Divided the given number in the first step. 4 divided by the 2. The answer is 2. 
and x to the power 5 divided by the x to the power 2. Now we know that when we given the same power as the division, subtract the given indices. Then 2 subtraction from the 5. The answer is x to the power 3. Go through my the four, go through the my fourth question. Look at it. In here also, product and the division in the same questions. First do the product step. Addition, the same powers in here, same bases in here for the product, addition the indices like that. 6 addition 5 addition in here there is a no indices. Now we know that in here number 1. 6 addition 5 11, 11 addition 1 12. Then 5 to the power 12 divided by 5 to the power 2. Apply the second law of indices after subtraction 2 from the 12 answer is 5 to the power 10. These are the few questions of the division and the product of the indices. Okay, now we discuss about the third law of the indices. What is it? It is the negative indices. In the previous one, we discuss about the product of the powers, division of the powers. Third one is the negative indices. What is the negative indices? Look at it. X to the power minus 5. The index is the negative. How to convert this one into positive is the easy one. Then, the x count to the, as a denominator, x to the power 5. Negative indices convert to the positive 1. Another example, look at it. a to the power minus 2 divided by a to the power minus 3. Sorry, it's b. b to the power minus 3. Both are the negative indices. Then, how to convert into the positive 1? Change in the bottom and the top. The a come here, a come to denominator in this fraction, then convert to the positive and the b goes to the numerator, b to the power 3, convert to the positive indices is the third law of the indices. It can be written as well like that. a to the power minus m convert to the negative 1. a to the power goes to the denominator like that. Is the third rule or third law of the indices. Now, we are going to solve in some questions. By applying the negative indices. Okay, look at it. How to find the value of 2 to the power negative 5 minus 5? Can't be found it in here. In the negative indices in here, can't be found the value. For that, convert this one into positive. To convert, first step goes to the denominator. Then 1 over 2 to the power 5. It can be synthesized. Now we know that the value of the 2 to the power 5 is the 31. Answer for this one. The second one. One over 5 to the power minus 2. Can't be found the answer for that. Then first step. Convert the negative indices as the positive one. The minus 5 to the power 2 go to the numerator. Yes, 1 come here. Not value for the denominator 1. Then answer is 5 to the power 2 equal 25. Now, I will give the simple two questions in here. What is it? Simplify and write the answer with the positive indices. The given are the someone have the positive and someone have the negative. Look at the first one. Look at this. The first one is the given product of the negative indices. Now we know that product of the indices, addition the indices first. Then 
a to the power minus 2 add to the minus 3 in here. Put the bracket. Minus 2 minus 3 are the same sign. Then addition is minus 5. The question is given answer with the positive indices. For that convert this negative indices into positive ones. So that 1 over minus a to the power 5 come to the denominator of that number 1 over a to the power 5. The positive ones. Go to the second one. Second one having the positive indices and the negative indices in both ones. First one product and the division. Look at it. In here division. Now we know that the same power division indices can be subtracted. Then 2 subtract and put the bracket in here minus 5. Multiply the a to the power minus 8. Now we know that simplify the these two signs to addition 5. Subtract multiply a to the power minus 8. In the this one answer is a to the power 7. Multiply a to the power minus 8. The first row of the indices, you know that product of the same powers, the indices can be added. Then, added to the 7 and the minus 8, the different sign, subtraction larger number from the smaller number, then answer is 8 subtraction 7, 1, put the sign, the large number sign, for the answer, a to the power minus 1, convert this one, into as a positive like this 1 over a to the power 1 is the answer. Okay. Now I explain the three laws of the indices. Product of the powers, division of the powers, negative indices. Join with another laws in next lessons. Goodbye all of you. Have a good future.